What's going on there, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Braun420, coming here for another GTA 5 online video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you actually how to get these swim trunks. So, first thing you need to do is just go ahead and make your way over to your yacht. And you need to be able to become a CEO. So, the first thing you need to do is make your way to your yacht. And the next thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and open up your interaction menu. You want to go down to Secure and Serve and simply go ahead and register as a CEO. And just go ahead and accept that message. As soon as you do that, open up your interaction menu again. Go to Secure Serve CEO. You want to go down to Management. You want to go down to Style. And you want to go ahead and go to CEO Style. And just simply go ahead and pick any outfit that you want to. It doesn't matter what outfit you actually pick. And what you want to do is actually just go ahead and walk into the hot tub like I am right here. Now, different times of the day, you actually get different types of swimming trunks. You know, like right now, I actually have the yellow ones on. Uh, when I first started off with the outfit, I actually had, you know, the board shorts on pretty much. So it all depends on, you know, the different time of when you do this. But, you know, this is awesome glitch, you know, where you can actually get the swim trunks. So simply from here, what you want to do is, you know, just go ahead and get you a sticky bomb. And just go ahead and throw you a sticky bomb right here on the top, right here, the staircase right here. And from here, you just want to go ahead and walk your way up all the way to the top like I am. So and from here, just go ahead and open up your interaction menu. Go to Secure Serve CEO. From here, you want to go to the very bottom and go ahead and retire. Now from here, you want to go ahead and open up your interaction menu again. Go back down to Secure Serve. From here, you want to go ahead and click on Register as a CEO. Now when you get this alert message, you know, it says, are you sure you want to register as a CEO? Passive mode is disabled and playing as a CEO. You want to go ahead and accept that message. As soon as you accept this message, you want to go ahead and hit left on the D-pad. So we're going to go ahead and click X, and then we're going to go ahead and hit left on the D-pad. Now you want to make sure that you actually blow yourself up and you actually get blown up outside of the hot tub. If you get blown up inside of the hot tub, it probably won't work, so make sure you actually do that. And make sure you get blown up, you know, actually on the boat somewhere. You know, if not, it's actually going to put you out on the beach. So if you did everything correctly like I did right now, you're actually, you know, be spawned back in, you know, with the swim trunks on of, you know, I don't know what swim trunks you're actually going to have on, which I actually have the yellow ones right now. So from here, what you want to do is you're just going to go ahead and, you know, we're going to go back into our yacht right here, and we're going to go into the inventory or into our wardrobe. And we're just simply going to go ahead and change one thing on the outfit. So I'm just going to go ahead and put me a beanie or a hat on, you know, so let's just go ahead and run our way back here real quick and uh, get this done real quick for everybody. So Hopefully everybody's having a good day. I'm not doing too bad myself, so uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. But once you go ahead and make it in here, just go ahead and hit right on the D-pad. And from here, you just want to go ahead and, you know, just go ahead and put a hat on or something. I'm going to go ahead and put a beanie on. It don't matter, you know, just go ahead and change something on the outfit. So just go ahead and change something like that. And from once you do that, just go ahead and back out from here. And then go ahead and open up your interaction menu. Go to Secure Serve CEO, go to that very bottom and go down to Retire and go ahead and accept yes. Now you can actually see that we are actually not in the CEO right now. And if you go back over here to the wardrobe, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, you can actually go ahead and edit the outfit so you can actually go ahead and save the outfit. So, and I actually have another glitch that I'm actually gonna go, sh go ahead and show you why I'm actually over here. This is actually how to get invisible arms. Now this outfit, you can't actually save it as a saved outfit which I'm actually trying to find a way to actually do so so if I actually find a way to actually save this outfit you know without being a CEO I'll definitely you know put another video up but this is actually how to get invisible arms on here so pretty much what you want to do you know you're gonna to need to be on your yacht again just like the last glitch I just showed you from here just go ahead and open up your interaction menu and you want to go down to secure serve register as a CEO and from here, you want to go ahead and open up your interaction menu again. Go to Secure Serve CEO. Go down to Management. Go down to Style. And simply go ahead and put on any outfit you want to. I'm actually going to use the Founder outfit. But uh, just go ahead and make your way into the Jacuzzi or the Hot Tub, whatever you want to call it right here. And pretty much the same method as we just did. So pretty much grab a Sticky Bomb. Put you a Sticky Bomb right here on the top of the stairs right here where I throw mine. And just go ahead and walk up here on the top of the stairs right here. And then what you want to do right here is you want to go ahead and go to Secure Serve CEO and you want to go ahead and retire as a CEO. Now once you do that, you want to go ahead and open up your interaction menu again. You want to go down to Secure Serve. You want to go ahead and register as a CEO. Now you're going to get the little alert message. Same thing as the last glitch. Go ahead and accept that and then hit left on the D-pad and you want to blow yourself up. Now like the last glitch, you want to make sure you blow yourself up and you're not, you know, 
blow yourself up outside of the boat, you know, because if so, you'll probably get spawned out onto the beach and you'll have to make your way over and do it again. So if you do everything correctly, you know, you'll spawn back in, you know, with the swim trunks on, you know, it could be the yellow ones, the gray ones, or the gray and pink ones, you know, there is a variety of different swim trunks that you can actually get with this glitch. It's, I think it's all based on exactly what time you actually do this. You know, I've actually, you know, jumped lobbies and come back in and was able to actually get, you know, the gray and pink board shorts. So, you know, if, you, if that's what you want to do is go ahead and, you know, jump sessions and come back. Just go ahead and put your last location, you know, so you get, don't have to make your way all the way back to your, your yacht or whatnot. You can do so. Now from here what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go into your wardrobe go ahead and hit right on the d-pad and you want to go ahead and click on outfits and you want to go to the second to the last one and you want to go to outfit bodysuits and you want to go ahead and put on one of these bodysuits right here it don't matter which one you do and simply just go ahead and pick on one I'm gonna go ahead and pick this purple one right here simply just go ahead and equip it and then just go ahead and back out of the menu right there and from here what you want to do is go ahead and open up your interaction menu and you want to go down to style, you want to go to accessories, and you want to go to the very bottom and you want to go to the gloves and you want to go once to the right. And you can actually see that it actually, you know, flashes like this. I've actually tried to get it to, you know, see if you can actually save it like that, but I haven't found a way to actually save it to flash like that. But once you do the gloves once to the right, you want to go up to both earrings and you want to go once to the right. And then you want to go back down to the gloves and you want to go once to the left and you just want to simply go ahead and back out of this right here. Now you can actually see that you know you have invisible arms right here. So now you can't actually go into here and you know you have no option to actually save this outfit, which is actually, you know, kind of kind of stupid, but you know, you know, let's see, you know, and if you go ahead and try to change, you know, your jeans, your bottoms or whatever or say if you try to go and change your top, you know, it's actually gonna put your arms back on. So I just wanna let everybody know that, you know, you can't actually change your outfit with this one. You know, you just gotta pretty much, you know, have the have the gray sweatpants on with the black shirt. Now I'm gonna actually go ahead and try to see if you can actually go ahead and change the shoes real quick while we're at it. Now you can actually go ahead and change the shoes on this. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw on some blue ones real quick but you can actually go ahead and change the shoes on that and still have the visible arms now let's go ahead and see i'm trying this all as i'm doing this right now so let's just go ahead and see if we go ahead and put a chain on there you know you can go ahead and put put a chain on there if you want to and still have the visible arms so say we'll go ahead and pick this one let's see if we can go ahead and do you can put a tie on there if you want to let's see the scarf if you want to actually go ahead and put a scarf on there you can go ahead and put a scarf on there um, now I know if you go ahead and you, you can put actually a watch on there if you want to so we'll just go ahead and put this watch right here on there now if you go ahead and try to put gloves on there you know you're definitely not going to be able to do that um, now if you go ahead you can put cuffs on there if you want to and still have the invisible arms so you know it's you know you can go ahead and work around with that you know there's a few options you can actually do so but like I said you can't actually have this as a player saved outfit but I'm actually going to go ahead and try a couple different methods to actually see if I can get this to actually stick as a saved outfit, but no, my luck, I probably won't be able to get it to stick, which is kind of bullshit, but you know, I got to try and see what I can do. So, uh, hope everybody did enjoy this video and you know, if you did definitely go ahead and smash a like and definitely go ahead and comment down in the comment section down below and let me know what you thought of this glitch, you know, I would appreciate it much and it would definitely help my channel out. And definitely, if you are new to my channel, definitely go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And definitely go ahead and click on that little bell next to the subscribe button. Definitely go ahead and turn all notifications on so you don't miss out on any further GTA 5 content that I do post on my channel. Because I try to post, I used to be posting daily, daily GTA 5 content, but I've been actually slacking and stuff. I've actually been, you know, playing around on uh, 2K17 or whatever, trying to grind and shit, you know, over there. So I've been, you know, pretty much on there and ain't been on you know GTA every day but uh, you know since the new Christmas DLC update has actually come I've been trying to get back over here and uh, you know the next thing I'm really waiting on is actually the snow to actually start falling in GTA which you know that's one of my biggest thing you know once the snow starts to hit I'll probably be on GTA you know non-stop you know because you know 
the past couple of years I've actually missed you know the snow update for GTA so this year I'm not actually gonna be able to miss it so I, I definitely definitely like to play around you know when the snows on GTA is actually pretty fun you know you know have a lot of fun you know because it only happens once a year which I think you know Rockstar should actually put in snow you know especially in the winter times actually let it snow more often you know let it be snowy maybe every other day or whatnot definitely let me know down in the comments what you think you know should Rockstar actually go ahead and you know in the winter times you know not just Christmas time you know but should they go ahead and bring snow and GTA 5 a lot more I mean especially in the winter times you know I think it would make the game more interesting you know I think you would get more people to actually you know play on there because there's a lot of people that like the snow content you know you can you can have a lot of fun with the snow and whatnot and definitely with this you know this Christmas DLC update you know yeah we're gonna make all these you know nice outfits and shit you know with this you know Christmas Christmas content and whatnot and but the thing is you know after the holidays and stuff Rockstar's just gonna go ahead and simply go ahead and take that away from us and pretty much if you know you got a dope ass outfit with any Christmas outfits most likely that shit's gonna be taken from you and you're gonna lose that outfit so I would just say you know if you make any cool outfits you know Christmas wise you know, just, just be aware of that, that you will lose your Christmas content, you know, 99% of the time, you know, I'm, I'm sure there, there might be, you know, maybe a couple things that you might not lose, but most likely you're going to lose your Christmas content, which I think if you, you know, I think what Rockstar needs to actually go ahead and do is, I know all the Christmas content is actually free, but here, here's my opinion on this. Go ahead and let us pay for it, you know, don't make it free. Yes, I did say that don't make the Christmas content free but let us go ahead and pay for all the Christmas content and let us go ahead and keep the Christmas content because that's what I feel like you know and I, I feel like that's the way Rockstar is pretty much doing it you know it's like well we're gonna go ahead and give you all this Christmas content with the clothes and you know the mask and all this stuff but we're gonna make it free so you ain't gotta actually buy it so you guys can't actually hate Rockstar when the holidays are over and we're actually going to go ahead and take all the Christmas stuff away from it. Well, that's what I said. Let us go ahead and buy it and let us go ahead and use our GTA 5 money in the game so we can go ahead and buy it. I, don't, I, I would honestly care less what type of prices that you guys, you know, as Rockstar would actually make for the Christmas content as long as we could go ahead and keep the, you know, Christmas content, you know. That's what I feel like on the Christmas, you know, clothing and stuff, you know, they should actually let us go ahead and keep it, you know. But enough with the rambling on and whatnot, you know, I did ramble on for a little bit, but, uh, you know, and you can see right now, like right now, you know, it's probably a few hours later in the game and actually, you know, if you go into the hot tub, you actually go ahead and have these, you know, these board shorts on, whatever you want to call them, you know, these gray and pink ones, which I actually have mine, you know, if I go ahead and, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and unregister as a CEO. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you my outfit that I actually have my swim trunks actually on, which I've actually made a little bit of a glitchy outfit on there. You know, nothing nothing too fancy or whatever, but uh, you know, this is my outfit with, you know, these gray and sh these gray and pink swim trunks or board shorts, whatever you wanna call them. But you know, if, if those are the shorts that you actually wanna go ahead and use for this glitch, you know, definitely just go ahead and, you know, wait a little bit of time and just kind of you know from time to time just go back in the hot tub go out of the hot tub and see actually you know you know because I've actually you know spent about a half hour one day you know going back and forth back and forth or so you know to try to give and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and jump sessions and go ahead and come back and as soon as I jump sessions and actually come back I was actually able to get the gray and the gray and pink ones, which I like the gray and pink ones. I don't need to be wearing, I don't want to be wearing them fucking yellow ones. You know, those are just, to me, those are just tacky. I mean, but if that's your thing and you want them, you know, go ahead and go for it. You know, I'm sure you can make some pretty cool, you know, modern outfits using glitches, you know, with the yellow ones. But, you know, definitely with these gray and pink ones, which I think I'm going to go ahead and change this outfit up that I actually have because, you know, with some of this Christmas content we actually have, you know. But like I said, you know, I don't want to get too carried away. And, you know, making any of these cool Christmas outfits, you know, with, you know, some of this stuff because, you know, after the holidays, Rockstar is going to go ahead and take all this shit away from you, which I think is a bunch of bullshit. But, you know, that's that's just what Rockstar likes to do. They like to, you know, patch shit. They like to take shit from people. And, you know, that's that's just what Rockstar does, you know. Come on, Rockstar, you know, let us have some fun, you know. 
That's what I don't understand. When it comes to clothing glitches, why in the hell, Rockstar, are you taking our clothes? Like, we're not taking money from you. I could understand, you know, if we're stealing money from you, but we're not stealing money from you, you know, when it comes to these clothing glitches, you know. But, uh, you know, enough with me rambling on and whatnot. You know, this is your boy, Brawl 420, and I hope everybody did enjoy this video with these couple of glitches I actually had to show for you today. So, like I did say, in the, you know, earlier, if you are new to my channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and turn all notifications on. Definitely go ahead and smash that like and go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you thought of this. But with that being said, until next time, this is your boy Brawl420, and I'm out. Peace.